Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Craftsman CMMT 99436 digital torque wrench. It has a range of 50 to 250 foot-pounds as you can see there in the uh, picture. And as well as online, it's available at Lowe's which is where I picked this one up. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon with tax. I paid $209 for this from Lowe's. I think you can pick it up on Amazon right now for about $125. So, uh, do you wait for shipping or no, I, do I you uh, pick it up right away? Now, one thing that I'm not real fond of with this is you, yeah, you'll see right here. You put the batteries in and then it's got a little plug that goes in to actually secure the batteries in place. And I'll show you the end. You can see how it fits in the end. You need a coin or you need a screwdriver to take that in and out. I'm not real fond of that because I don't like keeping the batteries in the torque wrench because I don't use it all the time. So I don't want the batteries going bad and potentially ruining the torque wrench if they leak. Um, one of the other things you'll see in this shot, so this torque wrench does uh, foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, and degrees. And I'm scrolling through the units so that I can set it up for the foot pounds and I'm kind of taking a look at it at this point because I just unboxed it for the first time myself and if you stop on degrees it will start a calibration because it calibrates every time you go to degrees sometimes that calibration can take a little while and I'll be honest this is not just a craftsman torque wrench nap on torque wrenches tend to be this way too but you cannot scroll past it, like if you accidentally you're trying to go from foot pounds to inch pounds and you go too far you if you get to that point and it starts to calibrate you have to wait for it to finish its calibration before you can move to the next unit um, that can be a little frustrating but it's in the electronics of the torque wrench so um one thing that I was not, another thing I was not real fond of on this one is, and you can see those will be the uh, degrees I'm working with here, or the torques that I'll be working with here, excuse me, is it's not a flex head, but in the price point, you know, you want to step up to a flex head, you're going to spend more money, you can find them. Um, but there again, you get more expensive. So the few things I do like about it, um, you can see that bright red light as you hit your target torque. Not only do you, as you're in closing in on your target torque or your target degrees, it'll start beeping at you. And that beep will become faster until you get a solid beep and that bright red light comes on once you hit your torque, which is really nice because you not only have audio warnings, you have a visual warning other than just seeing the actual torque itself on the screen. Um, the grip on this torque wrench it's not a hard plastic it's it's like a stiff rubber grip um, so it doesn't feel like it's going to absorb oils and greases that much which generally when i get to the point where i'm torquing bolts i try and clean my hands up before i grab a torque wrench anyway just because i don't want to get that tool dirty and greasy and nasty but it makes it nice because you don't have to have a real solid grip around the handle you can just kind of loosely grip the handle and gently push it through the the torque range that you're looking for so that's a bonus um, it's nice and long so that can be a pro and a con but on a half inch drive torque wrench it's capable of 250 foot pounds that extra length is really nice um, it, it's probably honestly about the same length as say a snap on or anything else but you don't have to exert as much effort to reach the torques you want there um all in all, I really like this torque wrench for the price. If I yep. was using one all the time, on overhauling the, engines constantly, three stages on yeah, maybe I'd go ahead and bolt, step and up and spend the five, six hundred dollars on a small on a good snap on with a flex head or, or you know what have you. But for what I'm doing with it on a infrequent basis, it works great. Um, one big con that I had with this that's really kind of frustrating is when you're setting torque, especially in foot-pounds, your torques go up in tenths of a foot-pound. So if you want to go from 22 to 23 foot-pounds, you have to press the button 10 times. That's really annoying because on a 
tool like this that has a range of 50 to 250 foot pounds generally we're not going to be working in tenths of a foot pound maybe if you're in the aerospace industry or something Two, like that three. you would be but if you're doing things like that nine chances out of ten you're going to spend a lot more money on your torque wrench than what we spent on this so tenths of a foot pound on a tool like this i don't think is necessary but it's one of the things you have to deal with if you're if this is something you're interested in so just keep that in mind um, aside from that i think it's a great tool i've used it several times now i shot this video quite a while back i just hadn't got around to editing editing and posting it yet but i've used it several times um several different jobs and i've never had a complaint with it aside from the few minor things i've mentioned here um i've never had it fail and i've used it side by side with a snap on a bigger more expensive counterpart and i honestly don't see a I don't see a difference between the two that would lend me to want to spend the extra money on the snap-on. The only upside to the snap-on that we have at work is that it does have a flex head, so there are some areas where having having that flex head does make it a little easier to get in there. Not that you can't do it with this, but sometimes you have to be a little more creative. Now, I do like it. This does have the quick-release function. Um, Alrighty. which so kind of makes it nice you don't have to try and yank the socket off there but anyway right. i hope this video helps you out guys if you're thinking about going out and Clear. dropping the money on this torque wrench uh, you know if you're stepping up from a older style click type torque wrench and you want something digital so it's easier to use by all means go for it i think this is a great option um okay. and like i said i hope the video helps you out Degrees and your final if it does, do me a favor. Hit that uh, hit that like seven, button if you haven't already. Eight, Please subscribe to the channel and uh, check out some of the other tool reviews that I've got up. And don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty, guys. Thanks for watching.